Hey, what's going on everybody? So Apple has recently released macOS Monterey 12.4 to the public. So this isn't a huge update, but it does have a few changes here and there. So let's go ahead and talk about them. So first thing here has to do with podcasts. So we saw this change happen on iOS and iPadOS as well, but basically there's a new feature in Apple podcast settings, which allows you to limit the episodes stored on your device and automatically delete the older ones. So obviously podcasts, every time a new show comes out, it downloads it. So now if you go to your preferences up here, you can then go into this new option, which says automatically download. And you can see that you have the options for all new episodes. You can turn this feature off so it'll only stream episodes. You can do the latest per show, the last two, three, five, ten, etc. here. So I'm actually going to turn that off even though I don't even use podcasts. But yeah, it's just a nice way to free up your storage because obviously if you keep downloading podcasts and you never watch them and you wonder where all your storage went, well, this could be the reason why. So yeah, new setting here in podcasts. Next thing here has to do with those people who own a studio display. So the studio display got its first firmware update and it actually matches whatever version you are with iOS because well, it obviously runs a version of that. So it is on 15.5 now and basically this update was to improve the camera quality. Now, I don't have a studio display so I'm not sure how the camera quality was before and how it got improved but Apple says they have refined the camera tuning, improved noise reduction, contrast, and framing. So yeah, if you have a studio display, you should notice a little bit better webcam quality for you. And those are the only two things that Apple lists in their release notes for this update. Now there are a couple other things that we can actually uh, take a look at here. So if we go into system preferences and then we head over to displays, we can see obviously the universal control setting is right here. Now I already showed this on my iPad, but in 15.5 and macOS Monterey 12.4, universal control is no longer in a beta state. So there shouldn't be hopefully any more bugs or issues that people were having because this is now a full release of universal control. So let me know in the comments if you're having any issues with that or if it's running smoothly for you. And then last thing here, we can head over to desktop and screensaver. And we actually have a studio display. Apple released the studio specific wallpaper. So it's this one uh, right here in case you have not seen it yet. But they've now given us the ability to use this wallpaper on any Mac running the latest version of Monterey. So if you like the studio wallpaper and you've been wanting it, well, you can now get it here on your non-studio display. And then the final thing here we'll talk about is security updates, of course. So Apple always really fixes a ton of stuff security-wise in their updates. So you can head over to Apple's security page and you can check this stuff out for yourself. You notice here basically how Apple lists these out is they'll list whatever the thing was. So for example, this was an AMD. Uh, problem so it tells you what it's available for what the impact was the description and then how it fixes it so yeah we can see AMD stuff we can see Apple script contacts MHIO a lot of Intel stuff uh, and then kernel things which are very serious when you see kernel things but yeah you can scroll through here you can check it out for yourself Again, a lot of the issues kind of go along with iOS and things like that because they're all kind of connected in their own way, of course. But yeah, guys, that is basically it for Monterey 12.4. Again, not a huge update. Obviously, we're getting closer to seeing the next version of macOS actually here in a few weeks at WWDC. So as time goes on, of course, we won't see too many more major features and changes because they're going to save all that stuff for the next major release but yeah guys that's all i got for you today i appreciate you guys watching the channel as always and i will catch you on the next video